My name is Neil Watson. I play point guard that can shoot. Um, University of Toledo, my first year, where I medically red or uh, NCAA redshirted, then did my second year at Coffeyville Community College, where we took fifth in the nation. I got best guard under six foot that year, and then finished my last three years at the University of Southern Mississippi, where we uh, won the league one year, uh, two-time NIT quarterfinals, and we had an appearance in the NCAA tournament. I feel like my motor, and I feel like my attitude towards the game, the effort I give, the time I put in, um, and the energy I have. You know, a lot of people being around me, I got energy for days. You know, 6 a.m. I got energy, you know, midnight I got energy. It's just always energy and I've never felt like anybody could outwork me. I knew I wasn't gonna be the biggest and I knew once, you know, the higher up I go in level of playing basketball, I'm not even the fastest no more or the quickest. But at the end of the day, nobody's gonna outwork me. And I think that was my thing that set me apart from everybody else. You know, being small, not being that athletic, you know, but you could see one, I was gonna work and two, there was no way he was gonna stop me from shooting the basketball. <laughs> What makes me truly love the game is what I can give back from the game. Um, being that from Kansas City, Kansas, you know, Wanda County, born and raised, there aren't many players that make it out of our area. And it could be to, you know, gang violence, it could be to really whatever, but the, the end of the ending result is a lot of guys don't make it from out of here. And being that I was one of those guys, I've always wanted to be that guy to really give back to our community. And, I want to go into coaching right after I'm done playing basketball. And I think one of the it factors I'll have is that I'm just like a lot of the kids that I coach. You know, being from the inner city, I was from the inner city. You know, my Overland Park kids, you know, I was, I was on the teams where they didn't think we were good or I wasn't the most athletic or the fastest or the quickest, but I've always had the work ethic. And I think if people can see, you know, kids can see how hard I actually work and, you know, seeing that I'm not a very big guy, and being able to, to still achieve my dreams and travel the world and play the game that I love most and never really have to work because I gave so much to what I loved, I think, you know, that's it right there. You know, to all the kids watching, anybody watching, any players or whatever, you know, I've always applied the five Ps to my way of thinking. Uh, proper preparation prevents poor performance, and I think if you get that mindset and you add, you know, my T method, T-E-A, time, energy, effort, and attitude, I think you can achieve anything you want to achieve. And it don't just have to be in basketball, it can be whatever your heart desires. Whatever your dreams are, whatever you aspiring to do, whatever you aspire, whoever you're aspiring to be, just stay on that path and keep pushing and know that true success don't come without failures. So when you fall and fail, just get back up, dust yourself off and keep going.